flashes, the flags go up. Journey Championship final of the 500 freestyle. And muscle for rank. Fuel burning fast on an empty tank. Reckless and wild, they pour through the tones. The prowess is potent and secretly stern. As they speed through the finish, the flags go down. The fans get up. And Starting in lane one from Iowa City West, Max Gurky. In two from Cedar Rapids, Kennedy, Mason Turner. In three from Waukee, James Coffey. In four from Valley, Jacob Pins. In five from Lindmar, Cooper Callahan. In six from Dowling, Tommy Hancock. In seven from Ames, Josh Fisher. And an eight from Lindmar, Luke Kelly. Madam started. So here's our final on the 500. Like I said, I'm going to look for Mason Turner and Pins to kind of hang back. They're they're more second half swimmers. I got a feeling that Cooper's going to take this out pretty quick because he's, he's had a good 200 freestyle today and he likes to take these races out. And we got Hancock, uh, who has got a good 200 IM earlier. His brother got second in this race last year, um, but he's injured. And his, his twin brother, of course, uh, not here today. But we're going to see Tommy Hancock, I think, try to try to draft a little bit off of uh, Cooper Callahan. So, Don, when, you, when you've got these guys in the outside lanes, one, two, seven, eight, you know, is would the strategy be better to get it out? Yes. Knowing that you might not be able to catch these yeah, guys would, if they get too big of a lead? I would get on the inside rope, and if I was in one, I'd try to draft two. If I was in eight, you're limited to drafting lane seven. So your strategy is a little bit more limited in those lanes. Right now, we got a two-man battle. 50 points there on pins and Callahan. These guys battled again uh, uh, in distance events last year, short course. Jacob's a, a little bit better at the mile. Cooper's good at the a little better Middle distance guy, 400 meter free from last summer. Coffee over there in lane three from Waukee. He's trying to hang around. And Jacob's Jacob's thing is, uh, you know, really working on his turns from last season. He finished fourth last season. Cooper, Cooper's a threat 100 and up. I mean, he's he, he's he's pretty solid, uh, jack of all trades, and uh, good good IMer as well. So I was su I was surprised they didn't do the two IM. He's he's had some success in that. But both these guys swam at Junior Nationals in December. Pins has a 429 from that meet uh, in his back pocket. So but the personal best times, Pins is a little bit quicker. Right now, 143.6 to 144, the halfway mark. And you see Callahan right on that lane rope, too. Yep. Now, Pins has moved over. So I, I think Jacob's making his move right here, which is probably smart. He's going to want to grind Cooper into the ground, because if it comes down to the last 50, uh, Cooper's a little stronger, bigger swimmer, and he's got better turns, and, and Jacob knows that. Full disclosure, I was Jacob's coach uh, last year, so we've, we've discussed this in the past. But Jacob's looking good, 26-4. That was his move right there. And in this race, you have, I think, two, two time, you have time to make two moves. You make two short moves or one bold move. Cooper's, though, Cooper's hanging around. If it's within a body length, this is going to be a battle. You've got Coffee over there in lane Coffee three. Coffee looks great over yep. there for Waukee, especially with the team points. And he had a really good 200 free earlier in this meet. 26-7 there on pins, not backing off at all. Cooper's 27-7. See if he's saving up here for that, that slingshot. But yeah, Jacob, Jacob pins there for West Des Moines Valley making a see, big move. You see Turner making a move here too, up on Coffee and on Hancock yeah, I, over there in lane two. And Turner. I've seen him do this since he was 10. He loves to come back that, that well, he's last 200. He's, he's making a run here. He's Jacob's catch getting a little out. tired there. He went back up to 27 and kind of floated into that turn. Callahan, another 27-9. So these guys having really good swims here in the middle of the pool. Again, keep your eye on that battle in lanes three and two there with Turner and Coffee. And then Hancock over here in six as well. But looks like Turner's making his move, trying to catch Coffee over there for third. And those are big team points for Waukee. And Valley. If Valley and gets Valley. some points here. 27-3. Pins is out after it. 28. Co Cooper's going up. I wonder if he's wonder if he's gonna gonna try to close this gap with his kick. Not 
not sure he's going to be able to close yeah, this kind of gap at this Jacob point. Jacob might have drove yep. that wedge here. Yep, those 226s in the middle there. Pins is looking like he's making a move again here, too, in this last 50. Uh, he, he doesn't die. This is, you know, yeah. he, he likes it. <laughs> I dreaded this, but some of these guys live off this. Good, good, good battle here for third between Coffee yep. and Turner um, and uh, Hancock over there. Here comes Turner. You can see that six feet kick coming with Turner. Wow. Slugfest in two and three. That's going to be Jacob Pins' first individual state title. Good turn from Turner there. 27 1 9. Here comes Turner. 4 26 30 for the sophomore. Gonna Callahan's going to come in there for th second. Your battle for third run. goes to Coffee from Waukee. 27 6 coming home. He's going to finish with 4 36 7 8. Excellent swims there. A lot of guys under under 440. We, that, you know, that's 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 a big benchmark, I think, for some of these guys to clear that 440. So that's an automatic.